Under the leadership of Elon Musk, Tesla has recently snagged the title for the most valuable car manufacturer in the world. However, despite going from strength to strength in a relatively short amount of time, the journey has not played out without its difficulties. From founding to failure to market domination, today we look at the story of Tesla and how it's beelining towards becoming the biggest car manufacturer of the future. Tesla Incorporated was founded in 2003 by a pair of ambitious engineers, Martin Eberhardt and Mark Tarpenning, in the heart of San Carlos, California. After selling their rebook business for $187 million, the duo set their eyes on the car industry. Deciding that they would put their efforts and funds towards developing and bringing to market an entirely electric vehicle that would be better, quicker and more fun to drive than already established gasoline cars. This business move was inspired by GM's previous electric car experiment, the EV1, which was somewhat successful from an engineering standpoint, but less so in terms of sales. GM abruptly ended their electric vehicle venture in 2003 due to an apparent lack of market demand. However, Martin and Mark saw things differently. The pair of engineers didn't see a lack of market demand for electric vehicles. They saw a lack of market demand for electric vehicles that couldn't compete with their gas-powered counterparts. To build on GM's partial success, they strive to show people that they didn't need to compromise when considering an electric vehicle and that they could be a true game-changer for the industry. Today, the words Tesla and Elon Musk go hand in hand, which is why so many are surprised to hear that Musk wasn't one of its founders. Musk only came into the picture in 2004 when he invested $6.3 million in Tesla stocks during a Series A round of investment. He was also appointed to the position of chairman of Tesla's board of directors around the same time. Musk brought to the team not only capital and other investors, but also a critical eye and vision that would take Tesla from the original roadster to the car manufacturing superpower that it is today. In 2006, Musk released a not-so-secret secret master plan in a blog post, outlining the steps he would be taking to propel Tesla from zero to mainstream. To summarize, the plan went as follows. Step 1. Build a sports car that runs off a zero-emission electric power plant to spark consumers' attention and to raise funds. Step 2. Use the revenue of said sports car to develop a medium-volume car that will be more affordable and appeal to a wider market. Step 3. Use that revenue to build an even more affordable electric car that would gain mass appeal and catapult them to the car industry's forefront. A simple plan that sounds easier said than done, but genius nevertheless. Tesla unveiled the prototype for its low-volume, expensive, revenue-building sports car in 2006, naming it the Tesla Roadster. The car was initially based on a Lotus Elise chassis and was envisioned to house battery technology borrowed from a company called AC Propulsion. However, by the time the car reached scaled production in 2008, the Roadster had just 7% of parts in common with the Elise and ended up being fitted with an all-new battery and motor combo developed in-house by Tesla themselves. These decisions would end up paying off big time, because not only did the Roadster exceed expectations, but it blew all the preconceptions surrounding EVs out of the water. The original Roadster came with a 248 horsepower electric motor, a range of around 244 miles per single charge, and a 0 to 60 time of 3.9 seconds, a spec sheet that gained a whole load of attention. Deviating greatly from the borrowed part and extending the development stage drove the price of the Roadster even higher than expected. But despite the steep $109,000 price tag, Tesla still sold 2,450 of them to eager consumers who couldn't wait to get their hands on a slice of the excitement. In 2010, Tesla kicked things up a notch with a 2.5 Sport model, delivering 288 horsepower and a 0 to 60 of 3.7 seconds while maintaining the same 244 mile range. The Roadster lineup was a fantastic start for the company. It was by no means a perfect vehicle and definitely had its critics, but it did do as it was intended to, which was to secure funds for the next step in the master plan. Tesla ceased production of the Roadster in 2012, making way for the more affordable Model S, a luxury sedan that would go on to win numerous awards and bring Tesla into the public eye. Tesla offered the Model S in several configurations, ranging in price from $57,400 for the entry version and up to $105,400 for the fully specced out signature Model S performance version that boasted a 0 to 60 of 3.9 seconds, 130 miles per hour top speed and a range of 300 miles. The Model S was a huge success, and by 2015, Tesla rolled another vehicle named the Model X to build on the encouraging momentum. While the Model X was absent from the original master plan, Musk simply could not ignore the fact that SUVs comprised 50% of the vehicle market, so why not carve out a percentage of that huge industry sector? The Falcon-winged Model X was the first luxury electric SUV, and it upheld its own against the ever-popular Model S. 
The base model, known as the P90, accelerated from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds, while the range-topping version, known as the ludicrous P90D, dropped the acceleration time to just 3.2 seconds. Both had top speeds limited to 155 miles per hour and a range of 250 miles. Crazy numbers for a vehicle that's 740 pounds heavier than the S. Slipping seamlessly into step three of the master plan, Tesla moved on to production of their Model 3. The car intended to achieve mass market adoption and cement Tesla as the leader in not only the EV market, but the car industry as a whole. The Model 3 was released at a budget-friendly price of just $35,000, and as of current, it is the world's best-selling electric car in history, with more than 500,000 units delivered. The standard entry-level Model 3 had a range of 220 miles, a top speed of 130 miles per hour, and a 0 to 60 of 5.6 seconds. Performance figures that are impressive, practical, and still on the quicker side at the price point. Now, getting from steps 1 to 3 did go according to plan, and Tesla did pull off what they intended, but it wasn't all plain sailing. The years between the first Roadster and the Model 3 were filled with ups and downs, as well as some very necessary innovations. After the initial release of the Roadster, Tesla was on the brink of bankruptcy. Co-founders Eberhard and Tarpenning left Tesla entirely, and not long after in 2008, Musk took on the role of CEO and started making some dramatic changes to revive the company. He even slashed the workforce by 25%. At their lowest, Tesla had just $10 million of cash to work with, barely enough to fulfill and deliver the existing orders. Luckily, Daimler came to the rescue by buying a 10% stake in the company for $50 million in mid-2009. The extra cash gave Tesla a slight respite from hurtling towards complete disaster, but it still wasn't enough. Soon after the Daimler investment, Tesla secured a massive $465 million loan from the US Department of Energy, giving Musk the much-needed capital he needed to execute his long-term vision. A huge milestone in the history of Tesla was going public in 2010. Opening at $17 a share, Tesla managed to raise $226 million in its IPO. This move would help facilitate the development of the Model S, the vehicle that arguably kicked off Tesla's momentum. The Roadster sparked a ton of attention, but the Model S held it and ran with it. Along with the Model S, 2012 also saw the development of Tesla's freestanding supercharger charging stations, where Tesla owners could charge their batteries for free and in a hurry. Initially, there were just six stations, all located in California. However, this has gradually expanded to over 1,800 stations dotted worldwide. The service now comes with a fee as well. In anticipation of the big things to come, Tesla started building a huge new factory in the Nevada desert where all production stages could happen under one roof. Named the Gigafactory, the production plant is still under construction six years after work started in 2014. When it's complete, the Gigafactory is set to be the world's biggest building by square footage. The Gigafactory will streamline production, reduce costs, and allow Tesla to pump out their lithium-ion batteries and car components at an alarming rate. As each section of the Gigafactory is completed, production commences. As of 2018, the Gigafactory 1 was already the highest volume battery plant in the world. Tesla's mission to automate its production line within the numerous Gigafactories they plan to open will allow them to meet market demands of an unrivaled scale. And because the Gigafactories will run purely off renewable energy, these huge plants will have a relatively small footprint as well. Their fourth Gigafactory, which will be located in Germany, will be heavily focused on vehicle production and is predicted to produce up to 500,000 Teslas per year, a significant step towards becoming the biggest car manufacturer in the world. In 2016, Musk revealed another set of plans for Tesla, titled the Master Plan Part 2. Following the production of the Model Y, a compact SUV, and the highly anticipated Cybertruck, Tesla will continue to make huge leaps in development to not only grow the company, but to help the planet go green. Musk explains that we must, at some point, reach a sustainable energy economy, or we'll run out of fossil fuels, and civilization will collapse as a result. In short, he says that the faster we adopt sustainable energy sources, the better. And these are not just empty words, he really does mean it. In 2014, Musk declared an open source policy to all of their patents, meaning that anybody, including competitors, could copy their innovative technologies. He explained that all the patents do is stifle progress and that it will be impossible for Tesla to build electric cars fast enough to address the carbon crisis single-handedly. Thinking big picture, Musk believes that the more electric vehicles on the road, the better, regardless of the manufacturer, and that an open source philosophy will strengthen Tesla's position in the market, not dilute it. To achieve the second stage of his planning mastery, Musk set out to 1. Create stunning solar roofs with seamlessly integrated battery storage, which is something that Tesla is already doing with its solar roof tiles and Powerwall. 2. 
expand the electric vehicle product line to address all major segments, including commercial haulers and public transport solutions. Tesla's semi-autonomous semi-truck is currently in development and is due to go into production in 2021. 3. Develop a self-driving capability that is 10 times safer than manual driving via massive fleet learning. OK, there's been a fair amount of controversy surrounding Tesla's self-drive and how safe it is, but it's still early days in technology and things are sure to improve tremendously. And finally, 4. Enable your car to make money for you when you aren't using it. This one may be looking a fair bit into the future, but as autonomous vehicles become better, safer and more widely accepted, Musk wants Tesla vehicles to be money makers, not money pits. This system will work by owners putting their Tesla to work as an autonomous taxi when not in use, creating a somewhat driverless Uber network made up of Model 3s or similar. After some roller coaster years, Tesla is gaining serious traction in the car industry, securing around 12% of global EV sales and close to 75% of all US EV sales in 2019. The company is expanding, evolving and innovating quicker than any other car company. In June of 2020, Tesla made the headlines with their record-high share prices reaching a staggering $1,000 a pop, making it on paper the most valuable car company in the world. The shares dip back down below Toyota a few days later, but that still takes nothing away from what Tesla has achieved in a mere 16 years of operation. With Tesla making huge strides in all areas of production, from developments in battery tech to automating the production line, it almost seems inevitable that Tesla will eventually become the biggest, most successful car manufacturer in the world.